Hi, this is Dr. Omshri Shetty. I'm Assistant Professor and Scientific Officer in Molecular Pathology Laboratory, Tata Memorial Hospital. Today I will be talking about the importance of early breast cancer detection and effective treatment strategies. As per the WHO report, in the United Kingdom uh, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, over 50% of decrease in breast cancer mortality in women under age 65 was due to improved early diagnosis of breast cancer and provision of effective treatment. If this could be achieved in one part of the world, the same model can be implemented in the rest of the world. And this can be done by simple three steps. Step 1, awareness and accessing care. Step 2, clinical evaluation, diagnosis and staging. Step 3, access to treatment. So step 1, that is awareness and accessing care, is that the patient should be aware of specific cancer symptoms, understanding the urgency of these symptoms, understanding the overcoming the fear or stigma and should be able to seek help in a timely manner. Step 2, once this has been understood that there is some disease, this need to be confirmed, it need to be diagnosed and then followed by staging. Now staging can be done by various methods that is clinical, radiological, surgical, histopathological and molecular. When it comes to molecular, it needs basically taking the DNA from the tumor tissue or from the blood sample of the patient and checking for any genetic abnormalities. Now why molecular testing is important in early breast cancer uh, detection? Uh, basically in case if the patient has a family history for any cancer or breast cancer, uh, genetic testing would uh, help to know whether the patient has any genetic predisposition to breast cancer or any other family member would also have. And in case if they turn out to be positive, then genetic counseling can be done and effective strategies to prevent the onset of the disease or to treat can be taken. Then also if the disease is diagnosed, then to understand whether there is going to be a risk of recurrence, whether the patient will respond to the treatment, this risk prediction can be done using genetic testing. So once this has been achieved, then comes step three, that is access to the treatment. So <clears throat> throughout the diagnostic interval also, results of the diagnostic test must be communicated to the patient. So access to treatment, the patient with cancer need to be able to access high quality, affordable treatment in a timely manner. The three steps of early diagnosis from symptom onset to initiation of treatment should generally be less than 90 days to reduce delay in care. It is important that cancer care is delivered in a time-sensitive manner to save life. Thank you.